start? Could you tell before the game it seemed like there was something in the air and energy in you guys that you guys felt you could do this? Yeah, I think that energy has been present this entire year. That is something that, you know, the energy, the confidence um, that we've had and since really spring ball. And we knew that, you know, we've been playing these dudes really every day since January. And, you know, I just couldn't be happier to be a part of such a great team. Yeah, we had a little bit of, you know, miscommunication and, you know, I forced the ball a little bit and, but, you know, time and time again, it's just like, you know, however we respond is, you know, you know, that's the most important thing. And, you know, I knew that, you know, I just had to keep letting it rip and I knew that I had trust in our defense and, you know, obviously H2 and the rest of the backs and the O line and, you know, they had our back and, you know, we just really just a physically dominant performance the rest of the way. Yeah, it's a it's an amazing feeling. You know, I want to uh, thank all every single one of my linemen today. They uh, they play play with their hearts out. You know, and uh, I think about my head for that. You know, but uh, yeah, just this whole feeling is amazing and uh, it's a blessing. So we're gonna keep it going. Yeah, I mean, you know, me and H2 were out there on the field and, you know, for the both of us, just as soon as I took the knee and, you know, watching the rest of our teammates and me sat on the field, watching the snow fall down as the rest of the crowd, you know, rushed onto the field, it was truly a surreal moment, you know, and it's something that, you know, that we've dreamed of that, you know, every, every 150, every 6 a.m., this is, that feeling is why we do it. And, you know, I just couldn't be more happy for my guys and the rest of this team. Second row left your guys, Ivan. Uh, Brad, it's a guy who's been here the longest. How long he's waited and what this feels like now. Uh it's it's been a it's been a long time. Um you know it's just it's an honor to be a part of this uh twenty twenty one Michigan football team. Um I'm just I'm blessed. Um I'm just speechless, man. It's just, it's been a long ride and, you know, just doing it with the guys that, you know, love doing it, that has passion doing it, um, that come out there every single day and, and, and work their tails off. And, you know, those are the guys that, you know, I went to war with today and, you know, and, and it came through for us. Um, and I'm just so blessed, you know, just to be part of this uh, football team. I mean that every workout, every every practice, every meeting, everything that we've put into this season, I mean, it went, it got leaked that we have on our boards. What are you doing today to beat Ohio State? And that's something that, you know, we've kept in the back of our minds every single day that we enter Schembechler Hall. And that's what I mean by that. And, you know, we did enough to beat them today. So that's it. Uh, yeah, for me, you know, uh, I cried, um, you know, it's just so emotional, um, you know, such a blessing and just, you know, to realize that, um, all the hard work, um, everything that you preach about, um, you know, what we have inside Schembechler Hall, what are you doing to beat Ohio State today? And, you know, today we beat them and it's just like, you know, so overwhelming and just, you know, just a blessing though. That's it. Hi, right, Hassan, I know it's kind of crowded, but if y'all can just make sure you speak in the mics, we appreciate it. Um, can you just speak to that third quarter, how uh, you really took control of the game? Hassan, I know it was your defense, but also for you uh, on this last day of yours here at Michigan to, to put that performance you did in the third quarter, can you just speak to, to how you're going to remember that and what it felt like going through it? Yeah, it was, I told myself I'm, I'm not going down. You know, uh, we got to win, win this ball game. And I just kept telling myself that, and uh, that just I stuck that up put that in the back of my mind and uh I went out there with determination to 
to win. You know, I feel like the whole ball, the ball team, offense, defense, we we took that uh, took that mindset that that we about to uh, got to win this ball game. So that was just my my mindset throughout the whole game. Yeah, um, we were so dominant, I think. Um, offensively, defensively, I mean, the way the offense was moving the ball, I don't know how many yards they had, but they were moving that thing up and down the field. And defensively, we, we, we let up a couple of big plays, which we knew we were going to let up. But, you know, we got big in the red zone on, on some of those drives. And um, I thought we really played good comp complimentary football. Um, <clears throat> um, you know, the crowd, um, you know, the fans, they, they had it rocking today. Um, and, you know, just being, being that loud and, you know, just being in this type of environment, um, I feel like that's, you know, that's what happened. And, um, you know, the fans helped us a lot today on that. And, you know, just, you know, going out there and for us just doing what we do, um, you know, just playing Michigan defense and, you know, being settled and being poised and, um, yeah, so, um, I think that crowd was literally the loudest I've ever heard the big house, the most invested, rightfully so. But, I mean, it was, uh, it was just such an insane atmosphere and um, something that, you know, talk about a home field advantage, you know, so. Um, everything. Everything about it, um, just the emotions, uh, you know, how we played going, going into this game. I mean, starting from January, all the work that we put in mentally, physically, um, you know, to get over that hump, if that's what you want to call it, um, and, and finally beat, beat Ohio State. Um, I think going forward, you know, it's, you know, it's been so long since we've beaten them in, um, I mean, as Aiden mentioned, it's just been a, an accumulation of everything that we've done and all the work we've put in. And, you know, we knew that we could beat them and now we know what it takes. And now we just have to do that every single year and we got to, we even got to get be better, you know, but, you know, they're human too. And we proved that today. Yeah, I'm extremely confident in this team. And, you know, I love these boys. And I know we'll be prepared, you know. But it's been a long time coming since we've beat Ohio State. And I know, you know, we can celebrate this for the next however many hours left of this Saturday. But... Come Sunday morning, we'll be ready to play the Big Ten Championship. <clears throat> yeah, it was a big emphasis to be able to run the ball this week. Um, you know, we thought that a lot of teams came out and maybe um, played a little scared against them, played a little timid, and that's just not Michigan football. It's not how we like to play as an offensive line, as a run game, as a unit. And uh, I think we did a great job of just coming off the ball, playing our football, establishing a run game, you know, and opening up the pass game as well. And yeah, I can be more more proud of the offensive line. These backs um, did did a tremendous job. And yeah, I think the, the biggest thing for us is just coming out, playing our football, not playing timid or scared, and just being able to move them off the ball. All right, we got a few more questions in the queue right now. When those three or four questions are done, I'm going to let uh, Hassan and Kate and Brad keep moving, if that's all right with people, because they've been up here a little longer. Stay in the back row, Ryan. <laughs> Can you guys describe just how heated today's game was? Obviously, there was that, that video in the in the tunnel, and then the, the little bit of a strum on the field with, with Roman. Just just how heated was the rivalry today? Yeah, man. Um, I mean, these guys have been disrespecting us, stepping on our jerseys, um, talking about hanging a hundred on us, doing all the rah rah, doing all the talk. But you know, we were about it today. So. Just left 
Yeah, to, for all you guys, what do you think this win ultimately means for the program, regardless of it, what happens going forward, but just you know, the significance of the victory itself and what it could mean long term? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, as I mentioned a little earlier, is that, you know, long term, you know, we've set the expectation now. You know, it's been so long since we beat Ohio State, and, you know, we did that today. And, you know, for the guys coming back, you know, we got to, now we got to do that every single year. And, you know, as I mentioned again, you know, we, we know what it took, you know, and, you know, we're not done yet. So, that's it. Mm-hmm. Well, I think after, you know, what happened in the 2020 season, we took it upon ourselves to kind of, you know, start identifying this this offensive line and, and building an identity that we wanted to be. And you know, it started in spring, started in training camp, just building that, that intensity, that, you know, ability to move people off the ball and that ability to kind of become nasty, as you said. And so we've been building that all year. You know, we've been able to run the ball on a lot of teams that, you know, other teams haven't been able to. And, you know, I think it showed, you know, kind of came to a – pinnacle in this game, it kind of reached, you know, we, we were able to come off, move the ball, um, hit their linebackers, and, and do something that a lot of teams failed to do. And that's just an accumulation of everything we've done in the offseason, um, throughout spring ball, throughout camp, and throughout the season. You know, Coach Moore and all, all the coaches have done a great job in coaching us up and allowing us to do this. So, um, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of just the whole line, whole line as a unit. Second row, all the way to the right, Austin. Aiden, I believe you said down on the field that you manifested this. And when we talked to you Tuesday, you talked about visualizing the outcome of the game. What did you visualize, and how close was this to what you pictured? Um, I mean, this was it right here. Um, visualizing, storming the field. I wanted the goalposts to go down, but I don't think they, they're down. <laughs> but, um, you know, all of that, you know, just crying, you know, just, you know, we, we did it. And, um, you know, that's something that I've been thinking about for years now. Aiden, you said earlier this week that the reason you came back to Michigan was to beat Ohio State. How long have you been sort of drilling this into your teammates and emphasizing to them how important this rivalry is to you? You know, I, I told you guys um, at the Big Ten Media Day that we were emphasizing this game more. And, um, you know, everyone, everyone seemed to have a lot of questions about that in terms of how we were doing it. And I told you to trust me, we were doing it. And, um, you know, I mean, you go out there. You see how we played in that dominant fashion. Um, there you go. All right, we've got time for a few more. Front row here, center. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's really important, especially in offense, to have kind of control your emotions in the beginning. And I think you saw kind of the later of the game, we started getting more and more excited as we realized, you know, what we were saying we were going to do came to fruition. And so, you know, I think it's really important as an offense to kind of come out and control the emotions. So that was a big emphasis throughout the whole week. But, you know, I know the defense, you know, comes out and plays full force. They're always excitable. So, you know, you can talk more to that. Um, yeah, I just really think we played complimentary football. Um, you know, they made a big play on us. They might have scored. But, I mean, the, our offense just responded and did what they had to do. And, I mean, they were so elite today. Can't even talk about it any, anymore. Back corner, Aiden, don't know if you knew this, but with your performance today, you set the single season record for sacks uh, at Michigan. What's that mean to you? Mm. Man, um, it, it was uh, it was crazy. Um, I, I can't really put it into words. Um, I really just wanted to beat my dad, and uh, <laughs> I mean, I went a little farther. So um, I mean, it's it's so cool, and it's something a moment that I, I can't wait to share to my dad. You know, with him, whoever he is. So, front row left here, Larry. Aiden, can you take pictures of the uh, the sign that says "What have you done to beat Ohio State today?" Like, how big is it? When did it go up? Where is it in the hall? Do you touch it? Do you stare at it? Um, it's just a electronic image that we had um, <laughs> in January, and um, you know, that's something that you know we changed this off season. Was really just, you know staring them in the face and, and, you know, not fearing them and, and addressing them always, you know, everything that we did in that off season, when it comes to training, when it comes to practicing, 
uh, I mean, was to beat Ohio State. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got a few in the queue. Uh, Yeah, uh, I've been extremely lucky since my time here. I've gone against great defensive ends, and I can truly say I think Aiden is, is probably the best of the best. His ability to do, you know, any move, you know, he really has it all. And being able to go out there and, and see him, you know, do what he does best just gives me pure joy. You know, I know the struggles of in camp, you know, getting beat by him, and to see him do it to other tackles just gives me straight joy. Um, I, I, lo I love when he, you know, beats tackles on the edge. and. When he, when he, my favorite is when he bullshits him to the ground, which I think he did one one play of this game. So you'll see it on TV. Hey, I love when film. he straps the ends up. He no. goes both ways. But, yeah, uh, I, I love seeing it. It's great. Hey, I'm actually going to ask you about that. You've been going against Stewart and these guys for you know, four years. At what point this year did you realize they were different as an offensive line or that they were going to maybe have enough to do you know, kind of their end here? Yeah, 100%. I mean, in the beat Ohio drills, I mean, they were so competitive, and we were getting after it so hard. And, um, you know, I knew in camp that, that we had some elite tackles, you know, in Ryan and Stuber. And, um, I mean, you know, you guys saw it as the season progressed. I mean, they barely allowed any sacks on the edge. And, um, I mean, they've been so elite. I can't even, um, I can't even you know, go farther into it. And, um, you know, it's been great going up against them, you know, getting those looks in practice and really, uh, really just competing and having fun. Um, I think, you know, you guys should have seen it in the locker room after the game. Uh, I've never seen him more, more happy, more excited. And, you know, not just for himself, but for his, his excitement towards the players, you know, how much he knows it, it means to not only the players, but the coaches and everyone involved. Um, you know, he, he's gone through some tough times. You know, he's kind of got, you know, he's, he's faced a lot of his adversities since he's been coach here. And to see him finally beat Ohio State, you know, as a team, as a unit. We knew what this team was capable of, and it all starts with him. He's done a great job coaching his team up, you know, building on what what the problems were of last year and fixing those and addressing those, bringing on new coaches. And, and yeah, he's just done a tremendous job this year, and I, I couldn't be more happy for him. Um, yeah, kind of along the, along the same lines. Um, I, I kind of missed him after the game, but I just saw him right before I got in here, and I'm just so happy for him. And, um, you know, I, I know I think he was 0-5 against them, but, you know, I'm so happy to be a part of his first win. And, you know, to have a top five game at home, um, you know, getting the wins, snowing. I mean, it was, uh, it was really like war out there. And I think he knew that. He understood that. And, um, you know, I, I'm just so happy for him and, and our whole team. All right, just a few more for these guys. Front center, Isaiah. For both of you, uh, was there a point in which you, you felt, you know, before the well before the clock hit zero, that you were going to win the game, and or, and or a point when they started to kind of relent. Um, I think you know when we came out in the second half, defense started, and um, you know they did a tremendous job there. And then the offense came out, and we only ran the ball down the field. And I think that's when, from an O line perspective, when you're able to come out after halftime adjustments, you know, having the time to see what they're doing and being able to adjust. When you come out and you only run the ball, and you take it down the field, it, it says something about their confidence in themselves. And I think that's the first time they really face adversity like that. And, you know, we just we just continue to roll, continue to roll them. And, and I think that's the moment when you felt the tide shift from an offensive line perspective. Um, you know, just me, when, uh, when that offense scored fourth quarter, eight minutes left to go up two touchdowns, um, you know, emotions started going down. Um, you know, it was hard to, it was really hard to contain just because I, I could feel it coming. I really, uh, I was so confident in our offense and our defense to get the job done. And, um, you know, kind of in that moment, I knew that, you know, whatever happens, I mean, this game, I think it's over. All right, we'll say about two more for these guys. Uh, in the back right, Reiner. <clears throat> um, well, I think you know what, he's, what he means by the beginning for this season is you know we're just we're just getting started. This is the first time we.
we played in the Big Ten Championship in, in a very long time. Um, so um, to be able to kind of say this is only the beginning after such a big win, you know, speaks volumes to how confident he is in this team. And, you know, we, we got to take it upon ourselves, like I think Cade said before, you know, we're going to celebrate this victory for Saturday. But when Sunday comes around, you know, our, our attention switches to the Big Ten Championship. And that's what we're focused on next. And so that's only the beginning for this team in terms of championship level play. I think that's where this team is, and I can't wait to see us do it. All right, back right corner, Zach. Uh, for both you guys, you both chose to come back, and then by fall camp, you guys were pretty confident in this team. I'm curious when, following the 2020 season, you guys believed this was possible, this kind of bounce back, and then also maybe a little bit of why you felt that way. Um, I think we knew we were going to bounce back. Um, you know, I don't think anybody else did, like out of Schembechler Hall. But um, I think in our building, we all believed. You know, we got some talented, we got some talented guys on this team, and uh, I think we can, you know, we can make a run at something. That's that's what I was thinking. But um, yeah, I mean, no one else believed it. So it was. Uh, I think that just goes to show, um, kind of our cohesiveness and our and our unity on our team. And you know, we all know what we are, despite what anybody says about us. Yeah, I just have to echo that. You know, it's it started internally with us um, through the grind of winter conditioning, you know, summer conditioning, <laughs> spring ball, and camp. We started building our identity, and it really just started with us. You know, no one, no one believed in us, so who else better than us to believe in us? So, and you know, we've really kind of grown as a as a unit and a brotherhood. And this is probably the closest team I've ever been a part of. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been nothing but fun this whole year.